Hey everybody, Steve Bergen here, and we're going to do the basics of pivot tables so that you learn this wonderful aspect of working and analyzing data when you have it in the spreadsheet. So for this exercise, I've got the U.S. presidents together with various relevant columns. It's all going to begin in a second by going to data and choosing pivot table report. But I have to just make sure that as you listen and watch this video, you know about the command called count and count A. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble when we get to pivot tables. Count finds the number of numbers in a group. Doesn't matter if it's decimals. Doesn't matter if it's zero. But you can't have the letter O, and you can't have any words. So if I say equal count of B3 through B11, it will tell me how many of those are legitimate numbers. And the answer is 7, because we have this one is not really a 0. It's an O. If I blank it out, it's not going to change the number. If I blank out a number, it is going to change it to 6, because the count command cares about numbers. The count A command cares about alphabetical words. So it doesn't matter if I go 1, 2, 3, or I go 1, 2, 3. It doesn't care at all. Is Whatever I do, even if I go put a lot of spaces in, it counts as a word. So I go equal count A, and I go count A of the same kind of area. It comes up with seven. Three numbers, three of those, and this blank space. I'll get rid of the blank spaces, and it goes to six. I'll get rid of the two, and it goes to five. Oops. I'll get rid of the this two, blank it out, and it goes to four. So count A counts the number of items in there. Doesn't matter if it's words, numbers, or spaces. Okay? Now we're ready to go back to the presidents and do a basic level pivot table. I go to data, I go to pivot table report. And I'm just going to do one or two things in this first lesson. I'm going to add a field. And I'm going to add the field called Presidents. And I want to get data in column B. So I go to Values. I add Presidents. And you see where it says Sum, Summarized by Sum? I change that to say Count A. Because count A means I want to count every president and every piece of text in there. And now I've got one, since Grove of Cleveland occurred twice. There's a two and a total of 35. I'm going to change, get rid of this field, and add the field under rows of state elected from. It lists the states in alphabetical order. It tells me how many presidents and it puts a grand total of 35. That's it for lesson one. Those are your skills. If you click in the white, it looks like the pivot table is gone, but if you click in the pivot table, you get this ability back. You got to get skilled at a basic level before you go on. One more time, folks. I'm going to delete the pivot table, going back to my data, and you can answer the question before I do. To get a pivot table, you go to data and you choose. Yep, those of you who said pivot table report, you got it right. Next, you go to rows and you add a field. What field do you add? 
it doesn't matter. You're going to be analyzing that field. You're going to be having the computer check out what's in that field. I'll go political party. And now it puts down in column A all the different political parties it found. In column B, I want to get the values. So I go to add field and I go president and I see all those zeros. Am I upset? Nope. Because I'm smart enough to go down to where it says sum, click on the triangle, and change it to, you tell me, yep, those of you who said count A, you're exactly right. Total of 35, and these are the groupings. So pivot tables do data analysis. We're going to stop here, give you a chance to practice. Steve Bergen signing off.